And moving outside of Africa, Australian fugitive and alleged drug trafficker Hakan Aik was key to the sting having unwittingly recommended up to criminal associates after being given a handset to undercover officers, dubbed the Facebook gangster by Australian media outlets. Aik is seen in social media photographs with large tattoos and a muscular physique. Local athletes say he has been living in Turkey since evading arrest, living a luxury lifestyle with a Dutch wife. Police said he was best off handling himself over to them as soon as possible, as he may be in danger himself, having unwittingly helped the FBI with their sting. In total, some 12,000 encrypted devices were used by around 300 criminal syndicates in more than 100 countries. For the first time, the FBI developed and operated its own hardened encrypted device company called Anom, A-N-O-M. As we allege in our indictment, criminal organizations and the individual defendants that we have charged purchased and distributed Anom devices in an effort to secretly plan and execute their crimes. In fact, Anom's distributors, Administrators and agents had so much confidence in the secrecy of their devices that they openly marketed them to other potential users as designed by criminals for criminals. But the devices were actually operated by the FBI. The criminals using these devices believed they were secretly planning crimes far beneath the radar of law enforcement. But in reality, the criminals were not underneath the radar they were on it. The FBI was monitoring those conversations. The very devices that the criminals used to hide their crimes were actually a beacon for law enforcement. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.